Bear friends and welcome to Atabirk Real Estate YouTube channel. My name is Sasha and today we are in Disneyland. I'm joking, not in Disneyland. This theme park is called the Land of Legends and it's located in Antalya Bilek, very close to Alanya, where we always show you the best offers on the real estate market and also very close to Antalya, where we have real estate as well. But today's video is going to be an overview of this amazing place, which you can come to for your holiday. And it will be as exciting for children as well as for adults. This place has a huge park. The total area of it is 65,000 square meters with a lot of different cool attractions, water slides, as well as attractions outside of the water. There are pools here with exotic fish and sharks and stuff like that. There are shows here that run during the day as well as during the night and a lot of more cool things on the territory of the complex. But we'll show you all of it in the video. Don't skip, watch till the end. And now let me tell you about the prices. So actually in Turkey, there is a big life hack. If you have a residence permit, it's better to use it always. It might give you great discounts. For example, we bought our tickets to this park with our residence permit online before we came here physically. The ticket for us was 1,235 lira, which is around $65. If we're not mistaken, we didn't really get a big discount because on the website online, the ticket is 65 euros anyways, or dollars. And there's a fast track option. The fast track is $16 if you want to skip all the queues. But today on the 10th of May, there aren't a lot of people. So they think we'll be okay without the fast track. Let's go and see the park. In this park, apart from the amusement park itself, we have a lot of area with cafes and shopping boutiques, right? So you can come here for shopping. You can see beautiful kind of river here where you can ride on a gondola and also you can just enjoy your time here. A big bonus is that the park itself over here where the shopping malls are and where the cafes are is free of charge. The only thing you would have to pay for is the amusement park itself. So as you can see here on this map, the park is actually huge. Over here, all this area is the shopping avenue, which is free of charge. You can go and walk all around here, do your shopping, enjoy your time. And over here, we have the theme park itself, for which you have to pay. Let me tell you about the opening and closing times. So the park and the shopping area opens at 10 a.m. in the morning. And the park itself, all the rides close at 6 p.m. The avenue itself closes at 12 a.m., so at midnight. And at 10 p.m., there is a very great show. It's actually really, really exciting. There are very good actors, very cool acrobats. It actually reminded us a little bit about Cirque du Soleil. So I would definitely recommend you to come here during the evening and enjoy the show in the shopping avenue. So over here behind me, you can see the ticket counter, the other ticket counter, where you can actually do something very useful. You could put money on your bracelet. You get a bracelet as you enter the theme park. And that's very useful because majority of the slides and rides here are water and a lot of people come here to enjoy the aqua park. In it, it's not that useful to carry around all your cash. So you can easily put it on here and use it in the park to buy water, food and whatnot. And at the end of the day, you can return and get back the money that is left over on your bracelet. So 
So, because majority of the theme park is a water park, of course, there are a lot of resting areas for the visitors where they can enjoy sun tanning and whatnot. As you can see here, we have very white sand, very soft one. We have a lot of areas for you to relax, a lot of sunbeds, umbrellas, and everything is free of charge included in your ticket. I wanted to mention something about food. Of course, on the territory of the theme park, there are a lot of cafes and bars just like this, little stalls with fast food. Of course, everything looks yummy and you can eat here. In the ticket price that we bought, the food is not included. Actually, in all tickets, the food is not included. And on the territory of the theme park itself, the prices are pretty high. For example, a hot dog with some french fries is 350 lira, which is around 17 dollars or euros, approximately. Another thing you could do, you could go outside the park. If you have your bracelet or your ticket, you can leave the area of the theme park and go to the shopping avenue. The prices there are not much cheaper, but still a little bit more affordable. We've already moved to the zone where we have the very cool non-water slides, which we're going to ride and test specially for you. It looks really fun, especially by the screaming of people, but we love it. And actually, I wanted to mention that everywhere in the park, there's a lot of music, a lot of different activities going on. Everything is announced. So, for example, if there is a show that's going to happen, there is a big announcement in the park, so you will know about it. As well, you can go directly on the website of the Land of Legends and check out what shows are going to be during the day and what time they're going to take place. Right now, we're gonna go on the scariest and biggest ride in this theme park, which is called Hyper Coast. And the height of this coast is about 62 meters high, which is a lot, by the way. <laughs> and you can see I'm a little bit scared. And also, the speed of the wagon goes up to 150. <laughs> and also, the speed of the wagon of the roller coaster goes up to 115 kilometers per hour, super fast. We're going to film it for you, actually, so keep watching. We've been wandering around the theme park for quite some time now. And actually, we've noticed that it's not too many people. The fact that we didn't get the fast track is actually good because there aren't any queues. You can go to the right from the first go. You don't even have any waiting time, which is actually pretty cool. Considering that right now is the high season, it already started. And last year, around this time, there were thousands of people in this park. Right now, it's super comfortable. So if you're planning a trip to Turkey during this summertime, do visit this place. I think it will be super comfortable. Right now, we're located near the main area with all the cafes or what I would call probably a food court or something like that. We have a lot of places to eat outside of the theme park. Yes, we've decided to save a little bit of money and eat outside. You can use it too. Come and eat outside. By the way, if you go out of the theme park, you can return using your ticket. You can go in and out whenever you want. Now, it's time to conclude our video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something new and got excited for your next trip to visit Turkey because this place is really great and a great alternative to parks like, I don't know, Universal Studios, Disneyland. Okay, it's a little bit more simple, but yet it's super fun, a very great atmosphere and just awesome. By the way, from Alanya, it took us about an hour and a half to drive to here. 
without speeding up too much and without extra traffic. So it's actually pretty close and even closer to Antalya. Thank you for watching our video, subscribe to our channel and bye! I'll see you in the next one!